guys in this tutorial I will show you how to increase your render speed in After Effects um, yeah, but we before we start the tutorial I would like to ask you to check out the link in the top left of the video uh, that's a link to my playlist of all my tutorials because I keep getting requests for stuff I already made and also even more important um, check out the link in the top right of the video the annotation uh, because yesterday I uploaded the video um, it's, I will make an episode on how to make your own color corrections and then we'll go ab about over every single effect for color correcting and explain everything in detail also for magic build looks and yeah some more stuff so please check that out um, it would be awesome if I could get like 200 or 250 likes on that tutorial that would be amazing because I'm helping you and you can just help me back by clicking a simple button so yeah that's it um, let's start the tutorial um, so most people uh, add some black bars to their edits so normally you go there create a new solid mask it out and then you have that but the problem with that is if you render uh, the project the um, the pixels below that frame will also get rendered but if you want those black bars and at the same time want to ins uh, increase your uh, uh, render time you can just go to composition settings and change it from the height from 720 to something between 500 and 720 and be sure that this box is not ticked I'll just use 600 20 or something so uh, now you see the video is just smaller but you see all those frames the no all those pixels that are missing won't get rendered now and on YouTube you will have black bars then um, okay but the even more important thing is if you have a good computer you can go to uh, basically with every computer but I wouldn't mess too much with that if you have a really bad computer go to edit preferences memory and multiprocessing and here you can uh, check the render multiple frames um, whatever you can check that and that tells you how many cores your computer has and how much gigabytes RAM it uses per core so I have 12 gigabytes of RAM and 8 cores so I can go there and sh maybe change this to uh, something like 2 gigabytes of RAM and what that does is that every uh, processor you have will now use 2 gigabytes of RAM uh, to render this and will render more than one frame at the same time so if you did all this you saved all those pixels that, that don't get rendered now and still have the black bars and all your cores will render uh, yeah, multiple frames per second now no, not per second but they will render multiple frames at the same time so yeah, please check out that tutorial I uploaded yesterday. I uploaded pretty late, but yeah, just to check that out, please. And please don't forget to leave a rating, because I help you. You can help me back. And yeah, that's it. Ch also check out the tutorials playlist, because I bet not everyone has seen all my tutorials yet. And there are some pretty helpful tutorials, and I keep getting questions for stuff I already made. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Like the video, and bye.